Hi, this is Tim Shepard from the Vintage Airstream Podcast. I'm sitting inside of my 1960 Airstream Ambassador and I'm getting ready to install a battery monitor. If you don't know what a battery monitor is, it's a device that allows you to keep track of the status of your house batteries in your RV. It'll tell you the voltage uh, that's on your batteries. It'll tell you how much power or current is, is coming in and out of your battery. That'll let you know how much a certain device is taking away. So, for instance, if you look at it, you can turn the light on. You can see how much power that specific light is drawing. Um, it'll also tell you how much percentage full your batteries are. And it'll keep track of the last time it was fully charged or the last time your batteries were equalized if you have flooded batteries. So it actually does tell you wealth of information. If you have a solar system like I do, then uh, they become really valuable because you can keep track of uh, how much your batteries power you have left uh, maybe you should start turning off more lights uh, if it starts getting uh, later in the day and you start getting less charge coming in from the solar panels uh, it really helps keep you focused so you can keep uh, you know power going to you know, extend your camping stay so the new Bogart engineering uh, trimetric 2030 is the one I'm going to be working with um, this is the 2030A. They also have a 2030RV, a slightly different form factor. They do the same thing. Uh, the other one might, it's I think more white colored, might be more suitable for mounting in a, a more modern RV with, uh, uh, to make it look a little nicer, just all up to the personal preference. Um, I wanted the 2030A because I'm replacing a 2020 and this will go right in its place. Um, one of the upgrades that this one does is it has a spot here that it can read a secondary battery, uh, not just the house battery. So if you had a second battery, you could read it. You push the select button, you cycle through, you can see what the battery bank voltage is. Uh, you can see the amps or power, how much is coming in or out of the batteries. Uh, for instance, when I hook up to my solar panel, it'll tell me how much power is coming in charging. Um, or even if you don't have solar, if you just plug into uh, uh, the shore power you can see how much power is coming in from your converter and charging up the batteries it also has the percentage full you can click on this and you can see how much percentage full your batteries are really handy if you're if you're camping and boondocking you can say click on it and go oh I only have 75 percent battery life you know maybe we, we should um, turn off some more lights or something like that um, the extra benefit that this one has the 2030a is uh, it has a jack here, an RJ11 jack that will plug into the companion charger, solar charger. Now you don't need this if you don't have solar, like I didn't for years. You can just run this and have all the benefits I talked about. If you do have solar, getting the 2030 along with the solar charger, the SD2030, really has a uh, lot of valuable benefits. Um, so here's the 2030 charger and it connects to the 2030 battery monitor by means of a phone jack or phone wire. So just a standard phone wire. I picked up this 50 foot one. It can be up to 100 feet long if you need to. And this will allow the trimetric battery monitor to control the charge rate of your batteries coming in from the solar. So you have four terminals here, two go off to the battery, two come in from your solar panels, and then you have the brains of the battery monitor that um, will keep your batteries topped off nicely. So this comes together as a, they come separately, but this comes like this uh, with this little mounting box. Um, you will have to drill your own hole here to run the, uh, RG, uh, the RG11 wire inside to connect it. Also, I did get the temperature sensor option this is a temperature sensor that will connect to your battery. It will allow the charging system to know what the temperature of your battery is and it can adjust the charging profiles accordingly. There's a couple jumpers on here. One if you're doing a 24 volt or 12 volt system and another one if you have AGM batteries or not. So the nice thing is this can be installed off you know near the batteries. You don't need to see it. And then the, of course the battery monitor it will go in your yeah, control panel or somewhere close when you can have access to it. Having these integrated, the solar and the battery monitor, means I no longer have to go look at the solar controller to see what the solar is bringing in and then go back to the battery monitor, see what the batteries are doing. I'll be able to read everything from this one panel. So that's a real nice benefit. Um, since I'm just replacing my 
existing uh, 2020. This is all I need. If you were going to be buying this new, you would need a, one more additional device. You would need a battery shunt. Um, they're not too costly, but it's just a little piece of metal that you take and you run it in line with your negative battery post on your trailer. And then you'll be having another set of wires run to it, to the battery monitor, and that connects the shunt to the controller, or excuse me, to the battery monitor, and it will allow this to know how much power is going in and out of the batteries. So that's about it. Came with some uh, nice instructions, and I'm going to go ahead and get started, and I'll let you know how it goes. All right, just about finished. I just have to put the panels and beds and everything back together, but I'll give you a quick look of how it was installed. Okay, here's the SC2030 uh, charge controller. It's got the uh, battery connections at the left and the solar connections coming in at the right. The temperature sensor and communications cable, the RJ11 cable that runs to the controller coming out the bottom there. And then here's the battery. This is the temperature sensor that'll help uh, change the charging uh, configuration used when this when it knows the temperature of the battery. So it's a nice option to have. Okay, here we are inside the uh, pantry. That's where I have my control panel. You can see there's the um, this is my tank monitor and the uh, panel for the inverter is here and then of course the new trimetric. So you can see it is um, showing that it's charging and here's the battery voltage that's B1 13.1 volts and you can just cycle through it's getting 0.8 amps and it's 99% full so nearly 100 and then the display can go out. Um, to get these additional um, information, you push and hold the select button. Now you're gonna get amp hours. If you read here, it tells you that's amp hours from full. So I'm half of an amp hour from being fully charged. That's days since charged. So 0.08, and I just installed this thing. Uh, day since equalized is the same. Um, PR is the number of power watts. RPC is the replace percentage since last discharge. Of course, it hasn't gone through that cycle. SOL is a new thing that's not even listed on here, but it's a new a bit of information you'll get uh, when you have the solar controller. So that's um, SOL is the solar current coming in. Let's see if I can see what it. SOL just for solar amps. So I have uh, four and a half solar amps coming into the solar charger. And UPR is unused power. So I have 98 watts of extra power that I could use for something else. So this battery still being charged and that's 98 watts of extra power I could use. It's kind of a neat thing to know. And then it's the temperature of the battery. I just showed you the temperature sensor. That's the temperature in Celsius, 27 degrees Celsius. And that's it. Then it cycles back through. So there you go. Installs not too difficult and um, it's a nice benefit to have.